1848, James Marshall was hired by John Sutter to build a sawmill. While he was building it, he found gold and showed it to John Sutter. He told him to keep it a secret, but two days later, he let the secret slip. By 1849, people were rushing to California to look for gold. These people were called the 49ers. Josie Smith was one of them. This is her story. One day, Josie was at home in Boston and heard about the gold in California. Since gold is such a valuable metal used for many things, she decided to go too. She went by land. It was a very difficult journey. She could have gone by sea, but she didn't want to. Got there. Thousands of other miners were already there. She, she didn't have a lo lots of money because she spent most of it on her trip. Josie decided to go to Hangtown. She bought a pan in the city, but there were other ways to mine too. She could have used a cradle or a long tom. I got myself a pan. Miners' lives were tough. Meals were usually salt pork, beans, cooked flour, and coffee. Lots of nights they had camp meetings. It was very tiring. On the day she didn't have camp meetings, um, Josie mined. Unfortunately, she didn't find any gold. Aw, I need to find my gold. She heard about other miners getting millions of dollars worth of gold. She was jealous. Oh, I need to get me gold. She also heard that Latin American and Chinese miners were being beaten, robbed, taxed, and treated very badly. That ain't fair. One day, she was watching all the miners pass by. She saw them carrying bags filled with gold. Wow. She thought that she should be getting that gold, too, so she went back to work. She didn't notice, but a huge gold nugget was in her pan. Josie finally looked into the pan, and there it was. Eureka! She jumped with joy. I don't need you anymore. She put it in her bandana. Oh, my gold. I got my gold. Got my gold. So we tied it around your waist. She had enough money for the whole year. And I got my gold. Josie decided to go back home and share the riches with her family. Before leaving, she looked one more time at the town. It had changed so much since she got there. Gold really was a magnet pulling thousands from all over the world. She took one more look at her claim before leaving. But Josie had to act fast because there were robbers coming to take her gold. Oh no, robbers! She, had, she picked up all the gold and put it in her bandana. Then she ran, bought a ticket, and was on a ship back to Boston as fast as you could say gold mining. The robbers just missed the ship. Everyone was so joyful when Josie got back home. They were now a very rich family. They lived happily ever after. The end.